Morning guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, excited about this one. Back on the kayak, and it's late March. It's the first time I've gotten out and chased some mackerel off the yak, so absolutely frothing to get out there. I'm gonna chase Spanish spotted mackerel. Uh, long tail shooting if they're around. I don't really care. As long as something hits the reel and makes it scream, I'll be happy with that. Uh, water looks good. Water's good, it's warm. A um, bit of swell on. See if there are a few blokes out surfing today, so. We'll, uh, we'll enjoy this paddle out. Pretty sedate here most of the time, um, as long as you just time it right and don't mix up your swells. So, I'm organised. I'm gonna stop talking and get out there. <laughs> Let's go. Water. Absolutely cracking mackerel day, hey? There's a bit of a set coming out there. I'll just let that go. Like I said, you can kind of tuck around this little corner here. It's a pretty good beast to launch this one. Yeah, that's all right. A little bit of south in that swell today. The trick is to just make sure that you hug these rocks. <laughs> Not so close that you clip them on the way through and lose it. Yeah. Safe as ours. Look at you. Beautiful. Oh, couldn't ask for a better mackerel day, hey? Like, seriously. You just swell on to stir out the top. Overcast, warm water. We had a bit of rain the last couple of days, but not enough to discolour it too badly. The birds working out there already. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so straight up the guts. First objective is to get some liveies. I'll go to my first little spot. Hopefully, there's some bait there playing ball. That's a good school of birds out there. School flock, there you go. School of birds. Like a bird on a school of fish. Get your English. Happening right now. Alright, uh, so just dropping jig over. See how we can get new bait, hopefully. Right. Oh. Probably a bit optimistic to get slimies straight up, but at least we're getting yellowtail. But we'll keep these and then sub them out if we find some slimies. At least we'll Search for slimies with baits out. Let's just get a couple. Find him, can't find him. Some good yakas down there. You. I only want a couple of these, though. I mean, anyone who chases mackerel knows that you're slimy mackerels. You're far superior bait, although they will eat these. But I have had some seasons when they just frustratingly will ignore yellowtail. Oh, this is beautiful out here this morning. Alright, so it's, yeah, it's not real good. It's not real nice. Exactly the same as you do out of a boat when you slow troll on live bait. Um, they've got two rods, they're just like light overhead. Uh, both got 30 pound braid on them. You can use any type of rod and reel combo overhead for this. And by that I mean it's as expensive as you want to go. But it's cheap, I've got a Talliger on there, which I shouldn't really have on a kayak, it just pops it. Um, but you know, Torium on there, like I mentioned before. 30 pound braid, 40 pound black magic, ma 40 pound, 40 pound black magic trace on both, uh, tough trace I use, and we've got single strand wire on the wire rigs. And I keep them light, hey, I go down to 44. Uh, and I'm using 
yellow towel and just slide paddle high. That's it. I'm just trying to look for bait. Already caught a surface activity and then just hammering it and staying on it. Wrong at all. <laughs> well, I just got that one in. I <laughs> just about to put the second one in. Right, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long at all. I don't think it's a mackerel, hey? I don't know. Might be a big red. I'm really close to the rocks here. And this spot, I quite often pulled a big snapper out, eh? On live baits. <laughs> you hit that like the clappers are. <laughs> snapper, I reckon. I was gambling there. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell, I eh? <laughs> Trolled probably two minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm like, it's lit. I just coming out, this is weird, man. Maybe not a snapper hard, like, staying up on the top. I don't think it is a red. <sighs> Spotty. <laughs> How fast was that hook up? <sighs> not a snapper, it's on the top. Is there? I don't know. It's me. <laughs> Seriously getting towed here, eh? Whoa, that's off. Oh shit. Now I reckon. Oh, they got a paddle. That's off. That's a mackerel high. You listen to that. Me paddling the wrong side. The one wrong. Oh god, piss off. You know what? The fish has grown in estimation, huh? <laughs> Good. Good head kicks. Tail on me. <laughs> on a yakker too, huh? I was just saying now I don't like using yakkers, it's true I don't, but mate, that fella lasted all of two minutes. So he's kind of towing me, I'm just letting him pull me towards him. Good head kicks, definitely a mackerel. That's the way you want to start the day, you don't know, straight out the guts like that. That'll be toe speed. <laughs> Peak smash that high. Oh! It's right there, Spanish eye. <laughs> no. Oh, a bit too me. Why? Fuck. See an owl. Oh. Another bait straight in. Right, uh, I got the second bait in. I'm gonna go back over that track where I hooked that fish. I was kind of. Definitely a Spanish eye, I saw him there right then. Okay. Anyway, that's your sheet. It's a good one. Good enough to bite through 44 pound wire, right? Um, that's all right, done the early days. I've got a big school on the top up here. I want to go and check if they're long tails, eh? Hey? Then, Max, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll go on and keep searching for a better bait. There's a big splash just there, right beside me before when I was. Bringing this second rod up. Looks good, hey? Super good. Let's get up on this school. Give you a look at it. Tuna. No, I don't be a tuna. Can't be. Is that a tuna? Oh, it's a tuna. That's a tuna, I reckon. Whoa. Just kind of paddling it from the first reef out to the wider reef, see if I can find some slimies. I thought it was in dead water, eh? 
That's definitely got tail beats. Oh. The problem when you're chasing mackerel is you're always in that long tail mack chin of water hoe and unfortunately you come across them. I love them off the rocks but not when I'm chasing mackerel. But the hookup, can't complain too much, hey? <laughs> Food him, cuz. Food him. Get tired, look at that. Get tired, look at that. <laughs> A mongrel in this thing. <laughs> All right. Might be a long tail high. Might be a long tail. <laughs> Good fish. <laughs> Back into a nor'easter. There's just such a dogged fight of these shit, aren't they? There's the leader, though. Come here, Longy. Woo! That's not bad, actually. I'm happy with that. Not huge, I'm just going to get this hooked out of it before I pull it over. He's not huge, but perfect eating size, I reckon. He's been pinned pretty good in the head there. But, all you've got to do if you can, just get clear of these hooks, especially when you're in a kite. Stunning fish, though. Perfect, perfect eating size. Bleed him in a sec. Let's give it a look. Yeah, that's, a, that's what you want. That size. Right little long tail tuna. I guess what was busting up when I first came out. Uh, just been losing now, eh? Well, the boss will be happy with that. Oh. Little midget long tail. 
Very nice. Happy with that. You've seen Brad do on a few of our little tuner episodes, just a little nick, just kind of hold your finger there so you're not going too deep and spoil the meat. Just in behind that fin. Look, don't fall out. There it goes. See that blood coming out right out there. Right. Oh shit, right in the middle of my bait tank. Well done, right. Uh, I'm looking for my younger in there. Perfect. Ah, that's not good. That's a vibe long in there. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Little tuner, I think. Little tail vibration, but it was straight at me. Eh? Weird, eh? It's only tiny, I think. Weird hook up. Tuna there for a minute. Tuna again, I think, maybe not a long time. Bugger bugger. Not what we're after. There's my other line. Jesus, that's so good. Oh, mate, it's gonna be like the tangle from hell, hey. Tell me yeah. Oh no. Oh <laughs> shit. Angle from hell on there, hey, like going under the under the boat, it'll be around the rudder. It's around, oh, mate. Oh, stress later on that one. Junior circles, you've got to love of height when you got a second line out. <laughs> he couldn't have wrapped me up more if he tried it. I really don't want to keep him, I have got one, I don't need another one. I'm just going to try and get him in. Get him sorted. Walk that drag up and try and... He's a much better fish than the last one. Come here, dude. Whoa. Come here. Come in and have a quick smile for everyone, and then you're on your way. Right, 
There you go, I'm gonna keep him. Bit of a long tail. Oh. <laughs> Camera's bugging me. Uh, yeah, anyway, there you go. Probably a long tail. Get back in the water. Probably got one, don't need another one. Woo! Swam off. Good stuff. Oh, I destroyed the kayak. Okay. <laughs> Shit everywhere now. Destroyed everything that fish. Oh, that might do me, guys. <laughs> right, I'll get this mess all down. I might. No, I won't, because I've got no baits, huh? That's the last of my baits. I might call it quits. There you go, we're back on the kayak. Uh, for those of you who follow the channel, I've sold the boat with a view to getting a bigger one in the next couple of months. So, we'll be back on on the rocks and on the kayaks for a few episodes, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out seriously chasing Pelagius on the kayak, it's bloody good fun. So, thank you for watching. Cut a long tail chin, uh, missed a bloody good horse of a Spanish mackerel earlier on. But that's a good sign. Uh, this is really the peak time to be out chasing Pelagius off my part of the coast. So, we'll see you next episode. Bye for now. Look at this tangle, like seriously. Must have spun me around 20 times. <laughs> oh, I've been going to be here for days trying to get this off. Uh, it's late March, and this is the first time I've got down the yak and chased some uh, mackerel, Spanish mackerel, Spottish mackerel. Spottish. Spottish. <laughs> it's a new one. Just making up a new fish here.